Yeah, this is Dave from Cheapbooks.com. I'm playing World of Tanks. The tank I am playing is the T-127. Uh, this is a Russian Tier 3 light tank, and the map is Siegfried Line. You should never do this wild firing shots at the beginning of the game. This, you know, people, I've seen people get hit by stuff like that before. It's, it's really bad behavior. So I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to head yet. I just got to kind of find a spot. Okay, I think I know where I'm going to go. I'm going to try this bush over here. That's right on the top of this hill. And hope to not get spotted. Very important not to move. In the last game, I had a really nice spot, and I moved to make an adjustment, and as I moved, I was spotted. Uh-oh. That's not good. Ready to fire. I need somebody to kill that guy. Whenever it says assistance to allies, that means that I'm earning experience. Where'd they go? And sometimes I do shoot, but I only shoot if I really think I'm not going to get caught. Or if it's like a, a one-shot kill type of thing. Look at what this guy over here is doing. He's shooting at nobody. You don't want people like him on your team. If he shoots at me, I'm going to ram him. Absolutely. Good. I'm going to file a complaint against him for unsportsmanlike conduct. The other thing is it's very dangerous when you're spotting and one of your allies shows up. A stray bullet's going to hit me. I don't see the target. He's, he's putting me in, in, in danger. I have been killed before because people hid behind me intentionally uh, in order to draw fire. Oh, you know what? This is a tier 3 tank, so the mission that I'm working on uh, doesn't apply in this tier. It's got to be tier 5. Well, all their tanks that came through here died. <laughs> and we got three more. They just didn't get it. And Maybe that fourth one will come down, too. Target acquired. Target released. Permission to engage. It's better to be locked on to a tank so you can change your view and, and the gun won't turn. I don't know if the X option works for your turret. I don't think it does. But uh, it's a lot better to be like this. I want to avoid their artillery. So I'm going to hide for a moment. Down. 
Trying different rounds. We didn't penetrate their armor. We didn't even scratch them. We didn't penetrate their armor. We didn't even scratch them. We didn't penetrate their armor. I don't see the target. Optics hit. I think now, considering what's going on, I'm going to advance. Got to use two hands on the mouse. I can't aim my mouse properly. I just bought a brand new mouse. If you've seen my videos, you'll know that occasionally something weird happens with my mouse, which causes it to zoom in a strange manner. Uh, so I purchased a new mouse yesterday. It's it's very sensitive, and I have to adjust to it. No, I would say at some point somebody should go and cap the enemy. Uh, you always want to think safety first. In fact, our artillery should probably do it. Okay, that's a T-127. I got three kills. I should do really well on this team because I had a lot of spotting damage. And I'm surprised that our team didn't win more easily. Uh, so let's see what you got. <coughs> Fire for effect, I get this all the time. Um, 821. That means I get it around, I don't know, 5 to 10% of the time. Came up number one for the team, 921. And 921, that is excellent considering it's a tier 3 tank. And absolutely the methodology that I use in this tank is the same methodology I use in the higher tiers. And If I were to play this tier 8 AMX 1390, I would use the exact same method and I would get uh, good scores also in those tanks. Damage caused with your assistance was 699. Look at my bonus for premium vehicle tier, 828, and I got 3590 total. Okay, so that's a T127. I did have a situation where some of my shots did not penetrate, so what I'm going to do is I am going to buy some of the better rounds so I don't have that problem again. Even the high explosive rounds uh, did not help. Okay, so that is the tank, and you can look at my crew. You can see that uh, I've got three skills for the commander, which is Six Sense, Mentor, and Camouflage. Uh, Six Sense is a very important skill. I choose Mentor because Mentor works all the time. Whether you win, whether you lose, uh, no matter how much experience you get, unless you get absolutely zero experience, Mentor gives you a benefit. So that's why I choose benefit. You're always benefiting from an extra 10% for the rest of your crew members. And I use Camouflage because I use this tank to do spotting. You'll note it's not at 100% yet, but I do want it to be there uh, someday. Uh, I've got for my gunner, I've got camo and I use firefighting because I don't use the fire extinguisher and the same with the driver. And uh, I have um, Sisterhood of Steel situational awareness which extends the view range and camouflage. Uh, what I would like to get uh, is recon for the commander and then obviously get these at higher percentages, and then uh, dead eye for the gunner. Those are very important. Okay, that's the T-127. The crew is shared with the Valentine, so I'm going to move them into the Valentine, and they're also shared with the MT-25. Okay, if you have any questions or comments about the T-127, please post below.